In Moto 1, he led out for a couple of laps before the pack devoured him. First, it was Murray Smith on his Wrangler Yamaha who took the lead. Then Gary Galway on a Midas-backed Kawasaki decided to lead by example. But finally, Wayne Smith on a Castrol-sponsored Honda moved out to an eventual two and a half second win. A while since I've seen all four makes of Japanese bikes sharing the lead in one single event. Suzuki taking the lead out from the whole shot, then the Yamaha getting in on the act, Kawasaki taking the lead for a while, and eventually Honda putting it together to take an eventual win. Russell Campbell aboard his Wrangler Yamaha, eventually finishing in fourth position. A brave effort considering a badly injured elbow he sustained two days earlier. Here we watch the immaculate style of our champion, number two, Wayne Smith aboard that Red Rocket Honda, driving with the Castrol backing this year. The second moto, also of 20 minutes plus one lap, saw Gary Galway take full advantage of local knowledge, and he made a break for the flag from the wire. Wayne Smith placed second for a deserved overall win. Third in motor two went to Murray Smith, followed by Warren Doyle in fourth position. A relatively small and disappointing field of only 21 machines came to the line for this, the fifth leg of the South African Championship this year, to be held over nine. But they certainly made up for the lack of entries in sheer crowd-pleasing enthusiasm. Number one, Russell Campbell, we see him in picture, who damaged that elbow in a demonstration run near his home on Friday. So we come to the end of the race day here at Hammersdale with the 250cc seniors going to super smooth Wayne Smith, Gary Galway second, Murray Smith third, and Warren Doyle in fourth position. This takes the overall point standing to Wayne Smith Castro Honda 174. He increases his lead by two points over Gary Galway, Midas Kawasaki, and in third position, staying third, Enzyme Kawasaki's Gary Nell 109 points. The 125 senior event. And they say dynamite comes in small packages. Here it comes in many packages with 40 machines on that line. The program has also said no snivelers at this track. And they meant it with two brand new monster jumps being included for the first time. The 125 pack of 40 machines thundering into the first of two 20 minute motos. Here damaged national champion Russell Campbell got the jump on the pack to lead out for almost a third of the event. A surprise because he had hurt that elbow and it was hurting him, but he managed to hold in there for a lead lasting at least 12 minutes. Watching a 125 event from ground level is the most frightening experience I've ever seen. And living there must be even worse, but that's why I've seen everybody leave the circuit from ground level. Riding a 125 in a race such as this takes nerves of steel, not only for the mammoth jumps, but also for simply making it to the other side. Stephen Hills certainly wins the Distance and Grace Awards as he comes over the ski jump with legs spread out over the circuit. He created a new record on each lap, then stuck another 10 meters on that when you put a camera there. He didn't even need his feet on the pegs to do it either. Wayne, super smith, super smooth smith, call him what you like. He certainly dominates the events this year. Didn't have it all his own way in the 125 seniors when he discovered young Gary Galway in front of him at the flag for Motor One. But here he made amends on bike number one is the national champion of 1988, Russell Campbell with that Wrangley Yamaha with a pack in the early stages of the race, still chasing him down that long ski jump where the bikes get up to 40 or 50 meters in the air before landing, diving down to the left-hand side of the circuit and to whip up that long, steep incline. Russell Campbell on that Yamaha with the pack right on his heels. Far side of the circuit, we've got the new jump called the Pyramid. And here bikers really scream as we watch number two finding his way around the back marker. That is Wayne Smith, our overall champion and national champion leader for 1989 on that multicolored outfit he has on the Castrol Honda. Riding up to the end, Gary Galway to the front in heat number one, but it was all Wayne Smith in heat number two as he made it an overall win. And Ricky Snedden pushing Gary 
into third position for the day's racing and the top four placed with Murray Smith and it is a really Smith benefit event with three in the top four. Taking a look at the overall points position after five legs in the one to five seniors, Wayne Smith extends his lead from 27 points to 49 and has 152. Ricky Snedden joins Paul Henneker with 103 points each and in fourth position, Russell Campbell. 100cc juniors were also catered for on the day and here Corey van der Berg extends his lead to 168 over one van Rooyen, 132, Byron Siegel, third position, 122 points. The 125cc juniors also two heats on the day, 15 minutes each. Greg Albertain, a superb ride for 180 points, Carl Fenneker, 114 and Richard Moore, 101.